in search of the five cheetah boys. So who knows what the night holds for us. Hunting cheetah, hunting lions, some more Angama cub cuteness. And they really are terribly sweet. One thing I would love to show you, which I haven't really had the opportunity to do, is when the Kichwe males come a-calling. They come and visit the Angamas, and it's hilarious to watch. I don't know exactly what it is about the dynamics with this particular group, because they are, of course, suspected to be the fathers of these cubs. They certainly think they are. And the cubs, invariably, in their curious young way, will go running off at the males, and then the males absolutely panic obviously because the females have been beating them up every time they go near the cubs so as soon as the males see the cubs coming they turn tail and they run away and they go and lie down and the cubs get brave again and they get closer and closer and closer and then the male gets up and runs even further away it's quite entertaining to witness hey ladies well lady I don't know what you did to those males but they're scared of you I wonder how this night is going to go. Are we going to get lucky? Are the rest of the pride going to come and find her? Or not? Looks as though they're going to continue to sleep. Is that my stomach or the lion? Lloyd, I have never had an animal jump into the vehicle with me. I know of a, I have a few friends um, who've had that happen. One example was one of the very few cases of a cheetah person attack. And it was in one of the scenarios where the, the vehicle didn't have a door. Very, very experienced guide who actually was picking people up from, ah, it was an elephant. That was not my stomach, that much I can tell you. Um, he was picking people up from the airstrip and driving them back. And to this day, nobody really understands exactly why, because the cheetah were very comfortable with vehicles, which goes back to what I was saying about never becoming too comfortable in that kind of situation. But not that I'm saying it was his fault. But it, the cheetah got up and walked past, and as it walked past, it went for him and grabbed his arm. Unfortunately, he was able to actually pull away from the cheetah because cheetah that's a that's a best case scenario you don't want that situation with a lion or a leopard which are much stronger obviously I've heard tales of the the few situations where leopards have jumped into a car I've heard a story recently actually of a guy in the Mara who drove underneath a, a tree that had a leopard in it and I don't know exactly the circumstances but apparently the leopard landed on his bonnet growled furiously at him and then took off which I can imagine leaves one with a very fast heartbeat and a possible need for a change of clothes at that point. So it, has, it does happen, but it's very rare. And it's not something... I will tell you that David has gone to sleep and woken up with a lion head. How far was it from you, Dave? Honestly. Inches. Inches, says Dave. Inches away from him. She got curious and she came up to have a look. Um, we do sleep in shifts for that reason, or else we close the covers. Just in case somebody gets just that little bit too curious. They're wild animals, it's night time, and it becomes a very different ball game. So we sleep in shifts and we keep an eye on what's going on, or else we close down completely with our rain covers. So we're basically in a little mobile tent. But again, it depends on what the animal's doing. And you can't really do that if they look like they're going to move again because then you've got to be able to move with them. That's where the che following the cheat is nice because when they go down you know they're going down. Very useful though to have the infrared because what that means is that we can actually sit and watch them through the eyes of the camera um, and we don't have to have lights on at all. So we watch them by using our cameras. Speaking of infrared, it is of course an hour earlier in Juma, but it has got dark. Let's go and look at a leopard in infrared with a kill.